we've been looking at our purpose statement here at Harvest, which is love God, love others, make disciples. Now, in the previous two videos, we looked at loving God and loving others from the great commandment found in Matthew chapter 22. And today we're gonna to look at the phrase, make disciples, and that comes from the Great Commission, which we find in Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. And here's how it reads. Then Jesus came near and said to them, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the very end of the age. So when we were to work, use the word disciple, I understand it's a churchy word. We don't really use it in our, in our um, culture very much right now. So what is a disciple? Now, a disciple in the easiest definition I know is a learning follower. So a disciple of Jesus is a learning follower of Jesus. It's someone who has decided to surrender their life to him, to his teaching, and now they're choosing to sit under his teaching and learn what life should look like and be like according to what he tells them as their teacher. Um, Jesus says to his disciples, follow me. Now, the Jewish culture totally understood this. What they had is they had rabbis of the day and rabbis would select their students and would call them and they would come and be that rabbi student and then that would be their life. That's what their life consisted of and that would be their future. Now, they could say no, they very seldom did, but they could. So Jesus calls the disciples and we think, oh man, he called 12 disciples. Well, those are the apostles. Jesus actually called thousands of disciples. Some followed, some didn't. Following Jesus, though, is an invitation that's for everyone. It's not for a select few. Every, every believer in Jesus Christ is a disciple biblically. But if you say yes to being a believer, yes to being a disciple, then making disciples, passing that on is part of the job. So every believer is capable of not only being a disciple, but also of making disciples. Maybe you're like, I, I can't make disciples. I don't know how to make disciples. I'm not good with words. I don't have the personality. And, and Jesus says, I've given you everything you need to do this. What do you need? Well, you need Jesus, you need the Bible, and you need the Holy Spirit. And those are all things that God has given us. There are no experts in making disciples. As a matter of fact, we all, everyone on this earth, are just a whole group of novices, and the only expert in the whole room is Jesus. And so what we have to do is we have to trust Him. We have to trust Jesus, trust the Bible, trust the Holy Spirit, rely on Him. Now, one of the things I love to work with and work on is what I call a 15-second story. And I think this is very beneficial for us in our life, and it can be beneficial for you every day in life. And this story can continually change. Here's what a 15-second story looks like. It starts with this statement. There was a time in my life when I was, and then there's two blanks. You fill in the blank with two things. And the next thing you say is, then I turned and I trusted in Jesus. And then you say, now my life is changed forever and I have two things. And you end the conversation with, do you have a story like that? It's a 15 second story, it takes 15 seconds. Here's what mine would sound like. There was a time in my life when I was searching and I was depressed. Then I turned and I trusted in Jesus and now my life has changed forever and I have found that my joy and identity is in Jesus and my life now has meaning and hope. Do you have a story like that? Now, I love this approach because it can, it can change with what's going on in my life, of different things I am, of different conversations I'm at. And what it does is it tells people the hope that I have in Jesus, where I was, what happened, and how I came to Him, but also gives people the opportunity to engage in that and tell me their story. You see, being a disciple and making a disciple is really not that scary. We make it harder than what it is. It starts and it's built on you sharing with others what God is doing in your life and what God's Word says. And I believe if we will truly love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and then we will learn to love other people like we love ourselves, I don't think being a disciple or making disciples is even an issue. I think you all, we will naturally find ourselves sharing our faith with our friends. We will naturally find ourselves helping them be followers of Jesus. So would you join Harvest in this purpose of loving God, loving others, and making disciples. I know Christ wants you to be on this journey with us.